Well, folks, here we are back on Gale Force Winds. We're with a our fifth and final men, man, man who paint, man who paints. <laughs> man. We had uh, um, a, a guest. The there is a sixth today, and Peter Lewis. And I'm going to put these up in succession of how we did the interviews, uh, just to keep the flow. But enough about that. Ken, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. No, my name is uh, Ken Van Rees. I'm a retired university professor. Um, I got into art late in my life, probably 15 years ago, when I decided to incorporate art into my science field courses. And, uh, Interesting. Yeah, and I went to a, an art gallery with my mother, and I saw these landscape paintings, because I'm not an art guy. And I thought, oh, this is kind of interesting. Maybe I could incorporate art into my science classes. And my next reaction was, no, you can't, because you don't know anything about art. <laughs> so I uh, talked to my uh, sister-in-law, who was a high school art teacher, and she said, try these things out. I'll write a couple rules out for you. Yeah. And I did with the class, and they loved it. So they would dig soil pits, look at vegetation, and then they would interpret the landscape through art. Would they paint it as well? Or? Well, in the early days, it was just oil pastels, but then I decided I need to learn something about art, and that's when I started taking painting classes the following year, and that's when I met the rest of these guys. That's fascinating, Ken. Yeah. I have a feeling your classes were a little bit popular, were they? Uh, they were, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of fun, but students love going out in the field, and I think yeah. that's what I enjoy the most, is taking students outside. Ken, uh, you know, uh, one of the boys called me Lippy Lou, so I'm going to do a Lippy Lou thing here. Um, you know, most of the professors that I had would not take that in ingenuity and like bringing that to the class. That's that's fascinating. Yeah, I love it. No, and I, to me that was, I love teaching. To yeah. me, that's the best part of the job being yeah. a professor, and uh, I just love taking students out, showing them the environment, and and I had that experience as a student as well. Asia. And I wanted to translate that into my own classes as well and take students out to the field. So. And they all appreciate it. I mean, you learn so much more when you're outside, experiential learning. It's just the way to go. So. In all of those classes and all of those students, is there one particular incident that stands out in your mind? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> there, uh, we did the classic MLA Kennedine campus, yep. and, the, and the university unfortunately shut it down. But I took the class, I still continue to take the class there, and we would do these special things where each person would have to pick out an artist and give their biography and talk about the artist. And I had a, a, a lady in the class stand up, a student, and uh, she says, my name is so-and-so, and I am the great-great-granddaughter of Ernest Kenderdine, who was the fellow who actually founded the camp. And it just blew me away wow. that here I was, having the student talk about her great-great-grandfather, who was a famous artist in Saskatchewan, and it was right there in my class. It was just phenomenal. It's amazing. Yeah, it was a special, special moment. Um, Ken, one of the things that I'm gonna do is bring it back to the art. I realized I didn't talk. I, here we are with the men who paint. <laughs> I did touch on a little with, with Peter and the way he paints. Can you talk a little bit about your painting and, and how this started? I saw this. <laughs> folks, as a blank a canvas. canvas. <laughs> what really, really astounds me now is how beautiful that is. Talk a little bit about the process, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm, I started out as acrylics because it was just easier to work with for me, but uh, last year I made the decision to move over into oils, and I just liked that it was yummier. Just, and I love the idea of putting Do you on, eat the paint? No, no, I don't eat the paint, but because uh, Van Gogh did. <laughs> he didn't last did very long, did he? I didn't so. know that. <laughs> so... But no, it's uh, for me. It's just yummier. You put it on thicker, yeah, yeah. and it's just it's buttery. It's just kind of those feelings that you can't f do with uh, acrylic paints. And so for me, I just like to put it on thick, not as thick as Peter. And I would love to move to that. To take a palette knife and just slap it on. But I, I'm just not there yet. So. Yeah. But well, look. You know, I was looking at Peter, and I struggle to put butter on my bread. <laughs> so what he's doing is blowing me away. <laughs> Uh, I, I see what you're saying though about you know the way it's got a little bit of raised paint yes. in that it's it's got like yes. Peter said a three dimension to oh, it. Oh, I right? know. Well, his is certainly three dimensions, yeah. and that's the kind of thing I like too is that you can layer it on and put more and more on acrylic paint. You can't do that unless you add mediums to it. But I, I just like the feeling of oils. I'm just going to step aside and point out that so the painting that we see here is actually the church that we see there. 
And uh, you know what is really cool about how you're doing this? There's a lot of telephone poles and wires and everything. <laughs> You've obviously seen through all them yeah, and, and all put the, people. the painting without that. Yeah, and that's that's just part of learning too. Eh? I mean, it's the experience and having these guys is really really helpful too because you run into a problem and say, hey, how do I fix this? Yeah. How do I move forward? And it's been wonderful painting with these guys because they've been so encouraging to me because I was really the only guy that didn't know anything about painting when I started with these guys and they've been been really, really supportive. So. Well, Ken, uh, I'm going to give you the last word okay. of, of the five men who paint and now the sixth who's the guest there, Peter Lewis. What, uh, just give us, you know, your final thoughts. Uh, I never realized that Newfoundland would be so diverse in terms of its landscapes. You've got everything from mountainous areas to plains to coastal regions to these fishing villages. Absolutely spectacular. And I don't know why I as a Canadian have avoided this province. And I am going to come back here with my family because I think it's just a fabulous place to go visit. And I'm really, really pleased with not only the landscapes, but just the people. So, so friendly here. So, so helpful. Well, I think, you know, uh, what you're experiencing here is, uh, you know, a blast five degrees in June, yeah. and uh, you kind of got to laugh, don't you? No, you I mean, do, you it's, have it's, to. It's ridiculous. You got to make the best of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think uh, the other thing that when you meet Newfoundlanders uh, away now, you realize there's a there's a longing to come back to this because there's there something is. special about the nature that we live in. Right? Uh, absolutely, and I think it, it's really interesting. It's just the pride that the people in this province have for their province. And yeah. It's just it's just really neat to see. Well, on that note, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've suffered a lot over the years, and I think there's a real resurgence. Uh, there's a confidence and there's uh, people like yourself coming to the province and giving us this feedback yeah. is really important. So, yeah. you know what? This is this Canadian country, this country we call Canada yeah. is amazing, isn't it? It and is amazing. It really is. And yeah. I'm glad now that I've gone from coast to coast and up to the Arctic. And so I've seen a lot of it. So it's been wonderful. Well, you've seen a lot more than most of the Canadians. Thank sure. you very much for being here. We Thank appreciate you. it. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the interview.